What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we all know I love makeup, but my other passion besides dick and marijuana is cars. I am such a car enthusiast and girl, give me a sports car and I'm ready to roll, baby. So when BMW introduced their first ever plug-in hybrid sports car, I was like, ooh! When I saw this vehicle, you guys, my heart Stopped. I just want to say you guys before we even start this video that it is so crazy for me to even own this car and be sitting on it because growing up my first car ever was a 1991 Nissan Sentra and I think two people hit my car and this was like when I was 18 and I got in two accidents people completely fucked up my car it's just crazy to like come full circle so I'm definitely having a full circle moment right now I know all the dudes out there that are watching fucking hate pink cars but guess what go get your own and you can do whatever the fuck you want with it but I turned this BMW into a bubblegum dream and shout out to West Coast Customs for transforming my beautiful car into what you see now the white rims the trim it is gloss and matte I'm just gonna give you guys a little car tour so we're gonna talk about the car now this car does fully take gas but it's also a plug-in so it is a hybrid um, which I know we all know what Tesla's are now Tesla is a full electric vehicle this one you can put in a full tank of gas and plug it in um, and it just works amazing so before we even go inside you guys I just want to say that what made me fall in love with this car is the ass the butt yes bitch no when I first saw this on the lot and I looked at that ass I was like I, I almost dry heat with excitement it was so just beautiful so I mean you see it it has the beautiful I8 logo. I also turned the BMW logo pink, which I thought was cool because it's never really, you never see that ever. So I thought that was really cool. Above the taillights, you can see it has this like space in between it. It is so futuristic and just stunning. And there is a lot of carbon fiber on this car, which we of course had to turn pink. Don't play me, everybody. Here's something that I find a little comical. The trunk. You guys ready for it? First of all, we're gonna open it. This is what the key looks like for everybody out there. So we're gonna call this a trunk because it is very tiny. Now, I do have a Tesla SUV, so I don't mind the trunk at all. I'm not gonna show up to the grocery store in this. And if you're not feeling the grocery vibe, of course, you can just put this down. And that's it. Then you have zero trunk. <laughs> So you can definitely fit like, I don't know, a bag of carrots and some cookies in there. Besides that, there is really no trunk. All right, I think it's time that we take this for a spin and show you guys the inside. Of course, one of the most unique features about the car is the doors, which are beautiful. I got them butterfly doors. Now, not a lot of brands besides Lambo and McLaren have doors like that. So um, it's really cool and we're just going to grab the handle and close it. So now that we're in the vehicle, you really don't need the key anymore. Um, the car will turn on when you just put your foot on the brake. So I like to put my keys in one of the little compartments in here. Actually, there's a lot of room, so I keep the clicker to my garage in here, some straws for my Red Bulls or water. The crazy thing that trips out a lot of people when they come in the car with me, they're, all, they're always like, why is it so silent? Now remember, it is a hybrid, so you're really not gonna hear that much noise unless you Put it into sport mode and really hit the freeway so now other cool things about this car is that it is very sleek the leather interior is just stunning and very luxurious like you just feel like yes bitch i'm ready to fucking roll now i love to listen to music in the car so um, in this little compartment here, I keep my little iPod cord. You can do Bluetooth, of course, but this is just really easy. So I just click in and I'm ready to roll. Step on the Crazy story, you guys. This is actually my second time buying this car. I know a lot of you were like, what the fuck? So if you've been following me for a while, you know that earlier this year in May, I got into a really bad car accident where I walked away pretty much fine, except some back pain. But my this car, the first one, was completely totaled. Um, I was going through an intersection and someone decided to turn and try to turn left before I went through the light and they completely smashed into me so hard. They totaled the entire vehicle. Um, it smelled like it was about to like catch fire and I was like scrambling, the airbags went off in my face. It was a traumatizing moment, like it was crazy. Ah. 
after that, I bought a different car because I was like, you know what, I'm too shook to be back in the same vehicle. But um, as the months progressed, and it was right around the time that my birthday was coming up, I was like, Nate, I really miss driving the i8. Like, it is just such a unique, different vehicle. So I made the decision to, um, you know, celebrate my birthday and treat myself to a second one. So, you know, hi, knock on wood, knock on the steering wheel that, um, you know, no one wants to hit this motherfucking car. It's crazy sometimes, like life has been moving just so fast lately. It's hard to just sit and reminisce about, you know, the things that we've accomplished. And, you know, I always say that, you know, materialistic things, they don't really matter. Obviously they're fun and they're exciting and they're cool. But, you know, at the end of the day, this does not, you know, mean anything. No one's cooler, no one's better than anybody. But when you work hard and you treat yourself, it is just cool validation. Like, yeah, like I fucking put it in some blood, sweat and tears. And, you know, we all like to treat ourselves differently. Some people like to go on trips. Some people like diamond rings. Some people, I don't know, every, we're all different. And I'm just such a car lover. Now, what I find so stunning about this car is just the way it's shaped, the way it looks. It is so like, I don't know, it's like a female version of like the Batmobile. When I saw it from behind, I was like, oh my God, it's just, it's, it's like breathtaking. It's like very eye-catching. I think one of my favorite things ever is because I've posted my car on Snapchat and Instagram is like I'll be driving um, down the freeway and I see people honking their horn. Now there's a lot of people that just take pictures of course it's a crazy pink car but it's so cool to see my customers and subscribers like I'll hear like a honk and I'm like oh my god like am I doing something wrong and then I'll look over and there's girls waving my lipsticks out the window like screaming and I'm like yes it's always like such a cool feeling to even though it's like a you know 20 second interaction on the freeway it just like makes my day so if you do see this car out and about in LA or Orange County please honk and fucking wave at me because um I love it I think it's so cool so shout out to everybody that I've seen this past year um I mean, I can't hide, I'm in a fucking pink car. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you on the next video and time to get back to playing with makeup. Mwah. Bye guys.